Once every so often, a solitary young gun emerges, as fast to the trigger as any veteran, as cool and courageous as any old hand. Thunderella leads them through a snappy quarter of 22 and one fifth seconds. And it's Thunderella at 35 to one, turning for home with the lead. One of the fastest horses I ever rode. Just an awesome animal. Unbelievable speed. Devastatingly fast. Very, very fast. A lot of class. Very good looking, fast horse. Thunderella, one to go. The young gun named Thunderello rose from the dust and heat of Florida, where the faster you run, the cooler you become. And in the spring of 2001, a chestnut two-year-old named Thunderello blistered a breeze during the OBS under tax show and then stunned veterinarians who took a peek down his throat. And I was absolutely amazed at the size of his throat and the quality of his throat. A couple of years prior to Thunder Ellen, my crew and I were all excited about a horse going through OBS named Silver Charm that had the same presence and had the same type of throat. They're in the gate. Fast forward to September 2001. And they're off Thunderello. Saratoga and Thunderello's second race as Thunderella rolls into the stretch. My first impression of him was pure speed. He could go 21 and change easier than any horse I've ever seen or had in my entire life, and could do it and continue to go on. Thunderella charging it into mid-stretch. Thunderello, the young gun with speed to spare and a throat the size of Texas, blew away the field and his onlookers that September afternoon. Richard Migliori has already wrapped on Thunderella. And when he came back and won his second race by 14 lengths and ran almost as fast as, uh, as he did the first time, yeah, I just knew that this was a very, very special horse. You know, the horse himself was just devastatingly impressive. Migliori got off and, you know, he just said, Scott's like the fastest two-year-old I've ever sat on. And we're back live at Arlington Park. The sprint is next. A little more than a year later, it's October 2002, and the world's fastest horses assemble in Chicago for the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Number one, Thunderello. He's got sharp early speed. The young gun was up against polished pros like Kona Gold, Swept Overboard, Extra Heat, and the favored freight train, Orientate. There weren't really any horses that day doing well on the rail, which was the horrible place to be during Breeders' Cup. They all kind of moaned when he drew the one hole, and I said, he'll make the lead and he'll keep going. And they're off deep. He leaves the gate real fast. Long shot, Thunderbello down toward the inside. He got pressure from everywhere. Made him run hard all the way to the stretch. A wild first quarter of 21 and 2 fifth seconds. And outran some of the fastest horses in the country, the fastest horses in the country. It's Thunderella, 35 to 1, turning for home with the lead. And I thought I was going to blow right by him. And he's driving to Thunderella, who's holding on. And Bailey's like starting to panic. They're chasing Thunderella. Uh, but he proved to be a tough customer that day. The young gun had nowhere but on the rail to run. No choice but to start fast. No rest before Jerry Bailey and the freight train orientate finally made their devastating run. And no quit in the final desperate moments before the wire. Uh, but it shows a lot of heart too, a lot of courage. We call that class and it's, it, it matters. He is faster and can carry speed farther and more intelligent than any horse I'd ever been around in my entire life. Just an awesome animal. All that speed, class, and courage are now assembled for the next step, to pass it along. Thunderello is standing at Walmack. If you go back, a lot of the great sires, a lot of them didn't start very many times. Okay. Mr. Prospector, Danzig, all showed freak speed. I think this horse fits that category. Speed and impeccable breeding, and it begins with Buck Passer in the sire line. There have been three Buck Passer line uh, Kentucky Derby winners. Of course, we've got Silver Charm from the, that line. The great buck passer, Tom Fool, all the way back to the legendary war admiral, descend through Thunderello's sire, Montbrook. He's now one of the best young stallions in the country. He's not only the most extensive stallion in Florida, but he's one of the best young stallions in the country. He's got more than 20 stakes winners in the first five crops. Montbrook has sired multiple grade one performers, including Giant Gentleman, 
out of the box, trust and luck, and his fastest son, Thunderello. Mont Brooks an exceptional young sire. Um, yeah, one of the best handful of horses of his age in the country. Both Montbrook and Thunderella have extraordinary balance and a lot of bone and substance. And they're just really uh, extraordinary looking horses. Thunderello's sire Montbrook also produced the $1.2 million sales topper sold to Demi O'Byrne in the OBS February sale of 2003. On Thunderello's dam side, more quality. Thunderello is unusual in that he does have a very, very good family. He's actually half brother to two other stakes winners. And his second dam, the second dam is half to the dam of Northsider, who's a champion filly. She's also half to the second dam of two other very important horses, Macho Uno, who's champion two-year-old, and also Awesome Again, who won the Breeders' Cup Classic. In reality, turn two, Cox's Ridge, sires with classic distance abilities. And the total package is a great fit with the dominant lines of our times. There's a lot of quality in this pedigree, which I say is, is unusual for perhaps some of these sprinters that come from a, a regional program. There's a lot more quality than one would expect in the family. Well, this horse just about, I mean, you just about reached into your hat to pull any kind of mare out to get this horse. He brings forth some fresh blood to cross on the Mr. Mr. Prospector in the Northern Dancer. But I certainly think he's one that I want to start with. He should have very good looking yearlings, which is very key in the commercial end of this game and they should come to hand quickly. And this horse has such a great attitude. He was the best sprinter in the country. He was faster than any sprinter around. Well, this horse has so much depth, and when you look at him, the longer you look at him, the more things you find that you like. Thunderella, fast and furious, and waiting at Walnut. I think this horse is a lot better than anybody knows. I'm going to breed to him. Breeders' Cup sprint. And they're off. Deep Trader broke on top of the far outside. Orientate gets off to a good start, too. Extra heat is right there. Long shot. Thunderbello down toward the inside. And there's Carson Hollow. And Carson Hollow has come away to lead this speedy field with Thunderbello right there with their extra heat is third. And Orion Tate gets a good spot early. He's running in fourth. Day Trader on the far outside fifth. Crafty CT is racing sixth. And then it's touchstone between horses seventh. Palooka Queen is eighth toward the inside. Three lengths disturbing the peace. Under a ride is now ninth. Then Bonapog. Kona Gold way near the back. He's 12 lengths from front running Thunderbello. And swept overboard, has only one horse beaten, that is long shot, Wake and Noon. A wild first quarter of 21 and two fifth seconds. And it's Thunderbella at 35 to one, turning for home with the lead. On the outside, here comes the favorite orientate, and he's driving to Thunderbella, who's holding on. Thunderbella, one furlong to go. Still there, three quarters of a late. Orientate, full out, driving second. Kona Gold, Crafty CT, they're chasing Thunderbella. And they're off Thunderbello. Breaks in stride forever. Amber got off to a very awkward break. And the lag's well behind the field as Thunderbella takes the field up the back stretch with Wild Blue in pursuit. And Timeless by third, seven lengths back. And Dance Note is a distant fourth. Jorge Chavez trying to get Dance Note in it. And after that very ungainly start, Forever Amber trails the field. Thunderella leads them through a snappy quarter of 22 and one fifth seconds. And Wild Blue is now two and a half lengths behind as Thunderella rolls into the stretch with an expanding lead. Timeless Spy is second on the inside, five lengths back to the other two. Dance Note and Forever Ember. Thunderella charging into mid stretch with a seven length lead. And Timeless Spy is now moved into second. Dance Note trying to come on now to capture a runner-up spot, but they're coming down inside the final 16th. Richard Migliori has already wrapped on Thunderbella, and they cruised to a 